In World War I, there was a call to arms. There were no aviators. This was a group, affluent young men, who voluntarily took up the challenge. They didn't have to. If the United States was going to war, they wanted to take part, and they wanted to fly. The men of the Yale Flying Club, they felt they were privileged. Being the son of one of the most powerful men in the world. And had an obligation to duty, honor, country. He saw the war in many ways as a higher calling. They all stepped up to the plate. The savvy one, the fashionable one, the football player, the quiet one. They flew hard and they played hard. He liked a good time. He liked the girls. The war was the greatest adventure of his life. These daring young aviators became the first to fly for the United States in World War I. This was just 13 years after the Wright brothers. The young Yale Flyers couldn't wait to get at the Germans. They talked about the excitement, the danger, the fear, nerves of meeting the enemy for the first time. Unfortunately, fighting some of the very best pilots in their best airplanes. Life expectancy of pilots was three weeks. They came under attack. His plane was shot down. He had been taken prisoner. Suddenly, the members realized this was real. The earth seemed to open, and we were hit time and again. Why we were literally blown out of the air, I don't know. He was outgunned, and he just took off after us. Maybe he was mad that morning, I don't know. He was last seen facing off against seven Germans. One man. They were there in the beginning. It's a really an amazing journey of a unique group of individuals. Of those to whom much is given, much is expected. <laughs>